Hey, hey guys, so today I thought I would talk about uh, kind of continuing this series on the only sunscreens I have uh, ever repurchased. There's about, what, of eight of them uh, since I've been into skincare. There's only a few sunscreens I've liked enough to repurchase, and most of these are real winners, and we've got a nice, a nice combination of mineral and chemical options. So, uh, number one, I still love this stuff. It works really great. They have three different varieties. That's a can make, mermaid, UV gel. I love the clear version. The white version is like, it's like a sunscreen with a white cast. It brightens, but I mean, if you want a sunscreen with a white cast, there's a lot of other options. And they just came out with a mint version, which I purchased and should be here soon. So I love this stuff. No fragrance in it. No denatured alcohol. Really good. Never got burnt using it yet. And it's one I rely on and absolutely love. So if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend giving it a whirl. It just seems to work well for so many different people. Um, Okay, next up. So I bought this uh, several times. I think this is a different formulation incarnation, but it's still basically the same line of sunscreen. That's the La Roche, La Roche Posay Shaka. This is their UV Mu and their newest version with the new filter, but I purchased their previous versions and have used them multiple times. And this one is wonderful as well. And uh, I picked, purchased mine from the website Soin at Nature. Uh, so you can check it out here in the U.S. It's there's only a few websites that you can get this. That was the one I picked uh, uh, it up from, and it shipped really fast, really easily, really nice. Uh, otherwise, I'll link to everything else below, but I don't want to get them in trouble for shipping in the U.S. because they probably aren't supposed to. But anyway, it makes it easy, so I get my hands on it because I love this stuff. Uh, anyway, so I love the fact that they have the fragrant version if you want fragrance. No fragrance if you don't want fragrance. The tinted version is so orange, so I'm over trying that. Maybe, maybe they'll figure it out, but it's super orange. So I just go with the non-fragranced regular version otherwise so really highly recommend it still have yet to ever get burned or uh, irritated from it so okay next up so uh we saw a lot of sunscreens the last couple of years especially in korea um have some issues should i say uh nicely uh they really a lot of them were found not to have the uv protection that they advertised however this one brand had no issues that's the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Uh, this stuff is, this sunscreen is amazing. So many filters uh, and so many good in antioxidants in here. A pycnogenol is another great one that's in here, which is a great skin protecting ingredient. And I think one of the few major K-Beauty brands that didn't have any issues with their sunscreen. So I trust this stuff. It does have a little bit of a white cast, but it is really wonderful. And if you put a little bit of foundation on it, it's great. Still yet to ever get burned or anything like using this. I love this stuff. So highly recommend everyone give this a whirl at least once. Okay, next up on my, I think the second bottle of it, the Hygie Vegan Sun Cream. I really enjoy this stuff. Uh, chemical sunscreen, no white cast, uh, no fragrance in it. it. has some alcohol in it, but for me, I found it to be not very dry. And it contains some other hydrating ingredients as well. And I really like this one, and it's really darn affordable, and it's just so easy to use, and no white cast, and it's one of those sunscreens where um, I don't dread using, you know, because there's some sunscreens that are so thick, or they have such a white cast, or they're so scented, or they're so drying. This is one of them that I just, I like using, I don't dread using it at all, so highly recommend you guys check that one out, too. Um... Okay, next up, so we've got a mineral sunscreen that I repurchased at least once. That's the Peter Thomas Roth Max Mineral SPF 45. It's tinted sunscreen. They also have a, a matte version, but I, I really like this one. It's got a nice tint to it. It gives your skin a little bit of a glow. Uh, yeah, so no fragrance in it. Really nice. It's pricey compared to a lot of these other ones, so keep that in mind. But overall, it's a nice one, one that I was convinced enough to repurchase. Um, okay, a couple more. So this is a Dermatology Tinted, what do they call it? Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46. This one's a nice tint. Seems to be a great product that works well for a lot of people. It also has a lot of uh, dupes. I think the Elta MD brand, uh, this is a pretty good dupe for that as well. And what have we got? 12% zinc oxide and oxinoxate. So it's a combo, mineral chemical sunscreen. But overall, really nice product. Very good universal tint. Highly recommend you guys give that a check, at least check it out, because uh, it might be a holy grail. It is for a lot of people. And then a couple more that I've repurchased, the Drunk Elephant Umber Tint SPF 30 sunscreen. I repurchased that once. Uh, you know what? It was really thick. I don't know if I would ever repurchase it again. Uh, my last tube, I got like halfway through and I just, it just got so thick. And I just, I don't know why I even repurchased it, because the first time I used it, it was 
nice, but I did realize it was thick, but I hadn't tested a lot of sunscreens out, so I kind of thought that's kind of what I was expecting, then, yeah. And then, last but not least, the Australian Gold Botanical Tinted Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50 in the shade Fair to Light, which seems to be out of stock a lot, a lot of places. They have the uh, medium to deep version in stock in a lot of places, but the Fair to Light one has been in and out of stock, so I'll link to it at Target. I don't know. I don't have my bottle with me because I haven't been able to uh, pick up another bottle since it's been so uh, in and out of stock. But I have repurchased it. If I next time I see it in stock, I'll definitely pick it up again because I really like it. And it also contains some really nice antioxidants and UV absorbing like uh, seaweed, algae, things like that. So I really, really think that's a nice mineral sunscreen. A lot of people should give a try to when it's in stock, if ever. So anyway. Um, anyway, interesting for me, guys, if there's any sunscreens you guys love, which ones have you repurchased? Is there anything that's like a must have? Uh, love hearing from you guys. Uh, anyway, I will see you guys more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye guys.